Hello everybody, Trail Freak here, coming at you from the bike shed. Today, I'm going to be talking about Cooser Hubs. These little guys right there. So, back, short story, story time. Back in 2017, uh, I got, after my Gary Fisher bike, that you see hanging on the wall over there, I got a Trek uh, Marlin 6. And it was a pretty good bike. I did a couple a little bit bigger back then when I first started riding that bike. Shop get true. So I started getting tired of looking on the internet and found Chris King. They were high. Like what, playing four and five hundred bucks? Freaking, I don't know how, but I got this wheel. Got the wheel built. So they tensioned it for me and all that stuff. And I put it on my carbon project bike, the hub on my. Fast forward to getting the Trek Fuel EX8. I got another set of the Cooser hubs. Since the other hub, I mean, it worked great. Those built awesome. up and used that on my Trek Fuel. Did uh, mostly did trail riding and some couple of enduros. And I never did race it. All right, so I'm getting off track there. Didn't mean to do that. So the hub I got for that Trek was a XM490. It's a skewered hub, so the rear hub is a 15, no, it's a 12 by 100. The front's a not, is it, is that right? Yeah, 15 by 100 for the rear, uh, nine, I believe. Yeah, I think it's from another phase. Nine by 100 on the front. But I got just the rear, and that's all, that's the only hub I got, was just the rear, because that's the only one I needed. But I ran it for a long time. It's a six paw hub. Uh, I'm not sure what the engagement is, but the thing says 72 clicks. So and it's uh, got a pretty nice little buzz to it, which is pretty neat. I know that nowadays are people are wanting to get, are going to the quieter hubs, but I still like the loud hub. I think they sound pretty cool. So when I got my Trek Fuel EX8, it's a 29er. And I rode it for a while. And I, I think I did a couple of XC races on it. I wanted to build a 27.5 wheel set. So I looked up Cooser again. Found that they have a boost hub. It is the uh, BM440. So I got a set of those, got front and rear. Found me some wheels and got somebody to build up the uh, wheels for me. Put them on the track. Not a problem. Been running. I ran those up until I got this evil build. I, ran them i mean they're still on the uh, ex8 but they're coming off because the hubs i got over here i'm building a wheel set for the trek fuel ex8 going back closer to ex going to back to 29 because right now i have the ex set up or i set it up for enduro with the had the big uh 160 fork on it and, and all that had my Big beefy tires, man, thing was a beast. Since I built the Evil for Enduro, I'm going to turn that bike, the fuel, into a, I'll turn it more into an XC bike this time. So stay tuned for, hope I get some videos of that. Hey, I'm getting off track again. I'm, I'm just blah, 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 blah. I'm supposed to be reviewing these Cooser hubs. And I'm gonna do a little unboxing of these new hubs I got, which are Cooser. Long story short, these Cooser hubs are awesome. Let's get over here and take a look at this new hub, which is a little bit different from the other hubs I got. So these are the last two hubs I got on the rear were six paw, regular style paws. This new hub is a ratchet hub, magnetic ratchet hub. So that's pretty cool. So let's get over here to the bench and take a look at them. All right, here we go. Cooser hubs. This is the box they come in. And see which one we open first. So I got a front and rear. And let's see which one this is going to be. Alright, sweet. This is going to be the front. You see that? And there's not much in the box besides just the hub. No stickers or anything, man. What's up with that? I like stickers. I need some stickers. But anyway, there's the front hub. Got the Cooser BM 
440. And that says 2SB 15 by 110 through axle. I don't know if it'll focus on that or not. There we go. And that's the Cooser B on 140. It's a well built hub. Got some, got some uh, sealed bearings in there. So, I ain't much to a uh, front hub. But, and it's blue. I like blue. That's, that's another big thing about getting the. Uh, those hubs I did is because they were blue and if you've seen some of my if you've seen my bikes you know I like blue all right so getting into the rear hub same thing simple little packaging pull this thing out no stickers no anything that ain't right man I need some stickers but here we go with the uh rear hub that I got. This is a uh, up right. This is the MF 480. Got a 24. I don't, I don't know exactly what the 24. Okay, it says 2 plus 4 sealed bearings, 24 tooth ratchet system. So that's, the 24 means it's got 24 teeth, I guess, on the ratchet. You hear that? Uh, wait. The only thing that sucks for me is it didn't come in blue. They don't have any colors on these yet. But I th well, I think they have a red. I, I mean, I hate red. But yeah, it's well it's well built. I mean, it looks like an expensive hub. Okay, one thing good about these ratchets is they're easy to come apart like that. They okay, just come apart. You can see the you gotta get the right that's the the inside of the spline and I can pull this off and there's the uh, teeth the ratchet and this is magnetic I don't know where the magnets are in this thing but I'm assuming they're behind the, the ratchet face in there and it pulls pulls this And it makes a noise and it engages. It's supposed to be quick engaging and less maintenance than a Paul system. So there we go. Zoom. So there we get there. So there we go. Coozer. Weird name, but these hubs are pretty dang good. I would I recommend them. I've been using them for a few years now and had no problems with them. And I know I'm not very good at reviewing stuff here, but I'm trying. So there we go with the Coozer. Yeah, I'm not a good reviewer, so don't hate me on that. But yeah, I just thought people would like to know about these hubs if you don't already know about them and prices I didn't get into the prices that's one thing I want to tell you like like I said the Chris King hubs i9s they're between four to six hundred bucks just for a rear you can get a set of the m40s the bm40s get a matching set like this for anywhere from 95 to 120 bucks it just depends on which store you find on uh, Amazon. That's where I got these, Amazon. And you can find them on AliExpress. They're about the same price on AliExpress. It's just quicker to get them from Amazon. And this one, like like the BM40, I think just the front is like 40 something bucks. The rear is, I want to say 65 to 75. And the on the uh, XM 490 the skewered ones they're a little bit cheaper than these but they don't come in boost that's why this is the boost model the bm 440 and this one this is their newest one like say and this is a boost 
I'm not sure if they come anything else. I don't think they do. But you can also get the XD driver for these. And the and this one, hey, I keep on forgetting the price on these things, but this one right here was 85. And you can get just the rear like this. Like I said, I think for about 65. And you can find the whole set between 95 and 120. And they don't have a front for this model. Uh, because, I mean, you basically can use the BM model for the front and just get the rear. So that, that was my look at it. I know it wasn't a very good review. And I'm trying to work out how to do these a little bit better. So uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And uh, just ride, man.